Rock climbing grades. Different countries around the world use many different grading systems. These five are the most widely used. In 1894, the Austrian Fritz Benesch introduces the first grading system. In the 1920s, the German Willow Welsenbach modifies it to create his own scale. The International Federation of Alpine Associations adopts it in 1947, and in 1968 it is renamed the UIAA scale. The scale is now open-ended and uses plus and minus signs. The Yosemite Decimal System In the 1930s, the Sierra Club developed a scale to classify hikes and climbs in the Sierra Nevada of California. Class 1 is an easy walk. Class 2 is very easy scrambling. You may use your hands a bit. Class 3 is moderate scrambling with extensive use of both hands and feet. Class 4 is difficult scrambling. It can be quite steep, but the climbing moves are easy like climbing a ladder. A rope might be a good idea. Class 5 is technical rock climbing requiring a rope and a belay. Class 6 was for aid climbing using artificial aids to make progress upward. It has since been replaced by a specific aid climbing system. In the 1950s, the Sierra Club's Southern California Rock Climbing Section subdivided Class 5 from 5-0, easy, to 5-9, most difficult possible. It was known as the Taquitz Decimal System after Taquitz Rock, where future greats like Royal Robbins, Chuck Pratt, and John Long learned the ropes. Robbins and his peers brought it to Yosemite, and it became known as the Yosemite Decimal System. Since Class 6 was already taken by aid climbing, when routes harder than 5-9 were climbed, it was expanded with 5-10, 11, 12, and so on. For greater precision, letters A, B, C, and D are added to grades after 5-9. Sometimes you'll even see a plus or a minus sign, especially on older routes. Next to the class, you may see a Roman numeral to indicate the length and seriousness of the route. In terms of length, Grade 1 is 1 to 2 hours of climbing. Grade 2 is less than half a day. Grade 3 is a half day climb. Grade 4 was traditionally a full day climb. Grade 5 was traditionally a climb lasting 2 to 3 days, but many grade 5s are now climbed in one long day. Grade 6 was traditionally a climb lasting 4 to 6 days. Fast climbers do grade 6 routes in a push, but most will still spend several days on such routes. And you may also see protection ratings. G, good solid protection. PG, pretty good, few sections of poor or non-existent placements. PG 13, fair protection, falls may be long, but are less likely to cause serious injury. R, run out. Some protection placements may be very far apart, possibility of broken bones even when properly protected. X, no protection, extremely dangerous, death fall potential even when properly protected. In the French grading system, numbers going from 1 to 9 are subdivided with letters A, B, and C, which in turn are refined with a plus sign. It looks similar to the Fontainebleau boulder grading system, but they are not the same. 7A is roughly equivalent to 6A on the Fontainebleau system. As it is inherited from the Welsenbach system, you may still find grades in Roman numbers like 4-4 or 4 plus, equivalent to 4A, 4B, and 4C. In the UK and Ireland, the French system, prefixed with the letter F, is used for sport climbing, but traditional routes are graded with the British system. It has two parts, the adjective grade and the technical grade. The adjective grade is for the overall difficulty. It includes technical difficulty, sustainedness, protection quality, rock quality, exposure, etc. It can be moderate, difficult, very difficult, hard very difficult, severe, hard severe, very severe, hard very severe, and finally, extremely severe, which is divided into E1, E2, E3, and on up to E11. You may find XS used instead of E when the main challenge of a route is due to dangers like loose rocks rather than technical difficulty. Occasionally, mild and hard will further refine a grade, like mild XS, or hard difficult. The technical grade is for the pure technical climbing difficulty of the hardest move or short sequence of moves on the route. It ignores the danger or the stamina required. Numbers going from 3 to 7 are subdivided by letters A, B, and C. The adjective and technical grades usually increase together. For example, a very severe route may range from 4A to 5A, and a hard very severe route may range from 4B to 5B. 
When you know what a typical grade is, in other words, the expected technical grade of a given adjective grade, you can then deduce how difficult and safe a route is. For example, hard very severe 5A is a typical grade. Knowing that, you can deduce that a hard very severe 4B indicates a relatively easy but unsafe route, whereas a hard very severe 5B means a relatively hard but safe route. On a multi-pitch route, a technical grade can be given for each pitch. The Eubank system, invented by the English-born Australian climber John Eubank, simply uses one number to assess the overall competence required by a climb. It takes into account technical difficulty, exposure, length, quality of rock, protection, and other smaller factors. If one factor is outstanding, it is stated verbally in the short introduction to the climb. The Australian and the South African Eubank systems look similar but don't match. Each type of climb requires a specific technique, so someone able to climb a 5.11 face climb may not be able to climb a 5.11 fist crack. In climbing gyms, the grades are sometimes optimistic compared to the outdoor grades. As the scale has expanded, there has been some grade inflation, especially in the lower and middle grades. As a result, an older 5.8 may be much harder than a new one. Grading is subjective and controversial, but you can pause on this chart, divided in four screens for readability, which should help you make some sense of it. Finally, if you have a really hard time climbing a route with a grade you are usually comfortable with, it may be sandbagged. And if you are just crushing a higher grade, it may be soft. Or maybe you're having a low gravity day.